is my crew. We do what we wanna do. This here might not be for you. This what we wanna be. Up in the sand in the sun. Can is a gun. Alright guys, I told you guys the last time I was going to continue making uh, blessed content, and I still am. Mind you, I've not really played since the last video I made about that. Or rather, I haven't really played since the last video I made about grinding the dungeon and so on and so forth. Otherwise, my level will be higher than what it is. But I wanted to make this video with a lot less swag, because I no longer have my hoodie, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys what I was talking about um, in greater detail. To show you how I'm implementing this stuff and what it does for me and, and all that good stuff. Now I am level 32. I can't enter the current dungeon for my level because my battle rating, which is 2913, is definitely not high enough. As such, it just won't let me. Now the monsters that you see down there all in red are like two levels ahead of me. They're 34. So this should be reasonably difficult with my battle rating if I didn't have the abilities that I have. So we're going to see if it works. I haven't actually done this. You can tell I only have like one kill on one of these things it's because it chased me up here. So we're going to go up there, or over there, I'm going to try my best to survive, and I'm going to aggro as many of them as I can. I might actually die, but I want to show you guys firsthand what this build looks like and why I'm using it this way. But the reason why I might actually die is because my secondary line only has one skill line for the chain combos set up. So that being said, it's quite possible that I just get freaking obliterated and uh, die. But Again, I have a lot of ways to heal myself, so that's what we're going for. That's actually what we're looking at. Ways that I'm keeping myself alive while still doing damage, because that is important. So let's go in here and let's start messing some stuff up, alright? Let's go in here and let's just scream at them, hit them with some of this, aggro as many of them as I can. Now, you can see that I'm not really doing that much damage in the grand scheme of things when it comes to it. But at the same time, so far, I'm safe. Now I need to do my heal get that going now I'm not gonna switch stances right now because then that would drop all my my anger and rage and I need that to continue healing so far so good it seems now I was able to clear out that entire mob seven seven mo seven monsters in a mob that were two levels ahead of me with my battle rating lower than what it should be and remember there was a patch release that nerfed damage to PvE I was able to do that with rel in relative safety okay and the reason being for that is because of the way I went in. So it's not just, oh, I can heal myself, that's, that's it, that's, that's the sum of it, that's no. You gotta go in with a game plan when you build this way. So what I did was I started with Cry of Anger. This is not an attack, it's not a target skill at all, it's just something that you do. It's a buff. It increases your fighting power by 2% for 3 seconds, and you gain anger. So... Alright, I'm going in there with my, my fighting power increased, that's great, right? But the second thing I did was jump to ground. It's a chain skill, it's a non-targeting as well, and it's an AoE. I strike the ground once and I deal a certain amount of damage nearby to my enemies. Now I have this set up, this particular one is to increase the, ske the, the skill damage itself. So the first hit I do does a lot of damage all around me. Now the second one increases my anger. Now you might be like, okay, well what's, what's the deal with going down this path when you're going into a group? first why would you do this first going into a group the reason is actually very simple so remember my non chain skill this one these two right here this one is a hill over time it consumes anger slowly when used and recovers two percent of HP every second now for me that's quite a bit because I built my guy kind of beefy now the next one just consumes all anger and recovers health in proportion of the anger consumed so the safer bet there would be to do this Unless I go in there and I've already set done this set right here this chain set right here And my health is obscenely low at that point I would actually want to use this ability to regain my my health quickly as I've actually set down The anger ground that I that I can stand on and that's kind of a play on word But what I'm saying is since I've gained a lot of anger based on doing those two skills in succession if the mob spawns quickly enough again, I'll do it again and show you exactly what I mean. If not, I'm sure I can find the mob to do it to. Alright, well these guys aren't aggro, but I'm going to show you on this single guy right here. So, say for example, this was another set of seven or however many I was just rushing into. I would do my cry of anger, I would hit Y for my first ground, 
it's the damage boost one and I would hit Y again for my second now I'm already over 50% on my on my anger at that point since you know I'm being attacked by a lot of people in the scenario I would hit six now I'm just gaining health as I fight in addition to that I'm gaining anger as I do my attacks so what that means is I'm gaining health as I fight as well as gaining anger the longer the more anger I have the more I heal so if I just keep my anger bolstered like that if I just keep it up then I can just continuously heal so the damage that they're doing to me is negligent it is just null and void now also one has to remember my my skill set to, set to four the number four it uses no anger none so if I find myself in a situation where I'm just constantly being attacked and I can I cannot in any way uh, use use the appropriate amount of anger to heal myself I can roll and not only does that dodge an attack coming at me from all directions it also heals me because the way I have it set up remember guys my non chain abilities have basically all been set to heal me there's only one that I have right now that is not and uh, oh actually here we go boost this change okay the one that is not is an AoE as well malevolence it deals 454 damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius deals damage over time to enemies within 5 meter radius for 5 seconds so this gives me another tool so I can build up my anger quickly right just like doing the the roar going in and doing this now I can opt in to do that because it's not going to drain my anger continuously it just does the attack continuously it drains the amount of anger the appropriate amount of anger to use the attack and then I can actually use the anger for whatever I need to now if I get it a little less than half and I need to heal right away because I was really aggressive I can use my number five which consumes all the anger that I have and heals me for a portion um, of that so I could use my number five to actually heal myself now these these little tips and tricks for this particular type of berserker are good for PvE and they're really good for PvP too. The reason being is when you when you go in with your cry, you go into a, a group battle, you're already getting your anger up there. Now you can just run by them and do that. You do not have to target them. Remember that's a non-target skill. So you could have you could be helping your team. And you're essentially, if you're playing this type of berserker, you're more of a tank than anything. Yes, you do damage, but you're more of a tank on sustainability. So you could just be running by and be like, oh, hey, guy, oh, excuse me, right? Excuse me, oh, there you go again. Now, remember, um, one thing that's important to note, if you roll at any point when you have a chain set up like that, like you're ready to chain, it resets the chain. It does not reset the cooldown, it resets the chain, meaning you can no longer do the rest of the combo. So that's something important to remember. I'm trying to stress exactly um, how I'm building this particular class for survivability right now because I want this to be something that people can look at and go, okay, if I want to build kind of a tanky survivor as a berserker, this is how I would do it. I'll get into the more damage side that I have built for him because I have been doing that. There is damage set on this, but my primary focus, of course, is what? The survivability. That being said, I hope this actually helps you guys and for those of you who are still in the game just know that I'm still with y'all I'm not going anywhere I might be playing a little less now but I am still playing we still have the shadow crew and I'll be happy to have any of you aboard my ship mateys I tell you what yo well guys thank you for another for sticking around with me for another installment of bless online and my little tips and tricks on surviving I hope to see you guys on the next one have a good day, morning, noon, or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. You get a good cup of coffee, tea, milk, water, whatever it is you drink to make your day a little bit better. And hey, if you're of age, I hope it's some rum so you can have some more fun. Yo! I'll see you guys on the next one.